Lord, I don't know where I'm going. Only God knows where I've been. Hanging on the promises and the songs of yesterday. Made up my mind. Said I ain't wasting no more time. Let's get this video going. What do you say, man? You ready, Aguardo? Let's do this. Hey, well, this is the uh, prediction fight for one of my hometown guys, uh, Adrian Broner. We're going to get up against uh, Vicente uh, Martin Rodriguez for the WBO Super Featherweight title that was vacated by Ricky Burns when he moved up to lightweight. And, uh, yeah, good wins over uh, Michael Kitsidis there. Just want to throw that out there for Ricky. Shout out there. Anyway, this is uh, Adrian Broner's time. So let me get on with this. Uh, out of Cincinnati, Ohio, so you know, he's about to give somebody some problems. I'm not saying I'm a homer and I'm not going to give a biased thing. I will break it down like I always do, and then I will give my prediction at the end of the fight. This is uh, going on November 26th, so it's right in the heart of the Thanksgiving weekend when you're recovering from your coma. If you're in Ohio, maybe you should go down and see the fight if your wife will let you go. Just saying. Guardo, you go. You can't leave. She's the keeper. Yeah, that's what I thought, man. Okay, well, let's go with Adrian Broner. You know, he's 21-0-0, and 0, 17 knockouts, 81% knockout ratio. Uh, lots of power for a small guy. A lot of very quick knockouts, very quick starter. He's fast rising, you know. I mean, we're talking three years fighting in the pros, 21 fights due to math. Uh, seven fights a year. So he is active. He's very active. Uh, his biggest win was over uh, Daniel Ponce de Leon, and some people might want to argue it. He won it, but it was a good fight. Uh, the controversy, you know, and then you had uh, Letterman had Ponce de Leon up in the fight, and if you've looked at Letterman's past couple fight cards, you know, not saying anything, but, you know, uh, turns, uh, turns around and he absolutely destroys Jason Litzow. And uh, blasts him out of the water. It was a, it was a vicious knockout. And let's tell was falling out of the ring. You know, the ref kind of got him, brought him back in. And uh, you know, he covers up. He has a tight D. Uh, he's fast. Counters very well. You know, he, a lot of lead rights. He's very accurate. He doesn't waste his punches. They're all met with bad intentions. He keeps you honest because he does pound that body as well. Uh, throws the combos, jumps on you very, very fast. The second he even remotely thinks he's got you hurt, he's trying to get you out of there. Um, pounds the uppercuts in there on you. Uh, and I, I would like to see him a little more humble. <laughs> he's, he, you know, the combing of the hair before you go in the ring. I'm, you know, but that's, you know, it's, you know, I'm just nitpicking now. now I'm, I'm just looking for flaws, you know, or some things I don't like. Because uh, he brings a very, very solid tight package to the... Uh, to the equation, and when you when you can box very well, counter punch very well, and you have a lot of power, that makes you a very very dangerous fighter, especially in the lower weights, because a lot of those guys they just don't have enough ass uh, behind, junk in the trunk, whatever you want to say, to really generate a lot of power. Going over to Vicente uh, Martin Rodriguez, you know he, here he is, he's a uh, El Mano, he's 26, he's 34, two and one. He's got uh, 19 knockouts, 51% knockout ratio. When you look at it, he's got okay power. Not exactly fighting the best of uh, opposition. 20 of his fights have uh, come against fighters with like losing records. Uh, he lost to William Kickett, who, if you look, you'll see that Broner knocked him out in six rounds. And he lost badly to Kickett, too. It, that wasn't even a close fight. He got schooled in that fight. Um, his chin, you have to question, because he's been down in numerous fights. He's only fought outside of Argentina one time, so you really have to worry about that as well. Now, granted, I, I don't know how he's getting the title shot, but, you know, you'll have that. I'm not going to knock him. I mean, if somebody came up to me right now and said, hey, do you want a title shot, man? Who am I fighting? And, and then they'd be like, John Ruiz. And I was like, how are they going to be able to tell the difference? Shut up, man. That wasn't that funny. I was just, whatever. Shut up, Aguardo. But... Looking at him, he has a very tight D when, when you're watching him. He is open for straight shots, though, because he holds it here. And he doesn't, there's not a whole lot of movement there. I mean, occasionally he'll slip, slip around and move, but the hands stay here. 
not so much head movement around or even trying to close it up, tighten it up some areas or anything like that. He's just kind of here and, and you know, shooting right down the middle. I'm not doing that sound effect again, I don't think. And uh, uh, one twos, he does counter pretty well when he's looking in there, but he is open for counters every time he throws that right hand. The second you see him throw on the right hand, if that right hand's going, pop, you know, you're firing your own right hand. You see what I'm saying? Because his left hand is disappearing. It's getting out of the picture. So the second you see him throwing, you throw right at, right at, right along with him. And you're going to hit him pretty much every single time. Kind of do a little bit of hook action, maybe a little hook uppercut, and you're going to catch him clean with those kind of shots. Uh, he is willing to work inside. He does throw the uppercuts, and he pounds the body shots as well. Uh, not a lot of them, but enough. And he can get wild or swing wide at times. So when you're looking at this, hard to judge the Argentinian fighters because they really just don't... Their records are always overblown, it seems. But every decent fighter he's fought against, he lost to. He's lost twice. And he lost badly to, like I said, to the kick it. And I think he's going to lose badly in this one. If I was a total homer, I'd say, oh, Broner's going to knock him out in the first round. I don't think he'll do that. Um, I hope he doesn't get too wild in his homecoming, because it's going to be in Cincinnati to fight. I hope he doesn't uh, lose it and go all crazy and stuff. But I do predict the knockout within five rounds. I'm saying Broner's going to knock him out in five rounds. I'm not saying, oh, somebody's getting knocked out. No, Broner's going to knock him out inside of five rounds. We'll see how that goes. And, uh, yeah. And, hey, Broner, you see this, man? You know, and we'll hook up a video or something, man. You know what I'm saying? Do an interview, get you on here, get your name out. Anyway, uh, it's Big Ragu. Uh, and, and I'm out or something. Comment, friend, rate, subscribe. You know the deal. You know the dealio, man. I am out.